Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. Well, for decades, Cummins, uh, Columbus-based Cummins, has built a reputation as an outspoken corporate champion on issues of sustainability, the environment, diversity, and inclusion. This week, Cummins taking a stand on the issue of increasing violence against Asian Americans. Chief Executive Officer Tom Leinbarger issuing a memo to the company's more than 8,000 Indiana employees, nearly 60,000 employees worldwide, decrying acts of hate against Asian Americans, including employees, friends, and neighbors. Now, with details on what he is seeing, why he is choosing to speak out, please, as always, to be joined by Cummins CEO Tom Leinbarger. Tom, thanks for joining us. Hi, Gary. Nice to be here. Well, as mentioned, and it's getting a lot of attention, certainly uh, nationally, uh, the, the rise in uh, hate crimes and situations against Asian Americans. Certainly the situation in Atlanta, which has not officially been determined yet to be uh, a hate crime, crime but it, it is really shining a light on something that is borne out in the numbers and that we're seeing increasing uh, instances of, of, of uh, hate directed at Asian Americans. What are you seeing? The same. Uh, whatever happens, whatever is determined by Atlanta, there, there is no question that the number of incidents is rising in our communities. I was recently speaking to our employee resource group, and uh, where Asian Americans and, 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 and Asians, Asian descent employees are there, and, and all of them expressed a mix of emotions of, of anxiety, of disappointment, of anger. But what they are feeling and seeing is a increase in aggressive tactics and in incidents against them in, in neighborhoods that they used to feel welcome and safe. It's, it's a clear change, it's a clear increase in violence and aggression, and it's making them feel scared and, and anxious for their families. And you felt strongly enough about it to issue a memo to employees that was very specific, very direct uh, about the situation, about things that can be done, things that should be done. Uh, and I think interesting, uh, to me at least, I, I think is the, the history of Cummins dating back to the civil rights movement uh, in speaking out and getting engaged uh, in social issues. We always want to speak up against discrimination, especially when it's affecting our employees, their families, and our communities. We know that discrimination makes a bad community, and it's, it, it weighs on all of us. It impacts all of us negatively. It impacts our business because it's hard to recruit families to come to communities where, where hate is, is going on. They don't want to raise their kids in those environments. And it's also just weighs on all of us. We know that our workforce is not as productive when, when discrimination is going on. And it's not as easy to attract and retain the best talent. So we are always going to speak out on this, and this is the time. Yeah, and, and Tom, interesting too, that is, as you related to me off camera a moment ago, a lot of these instances uh, of, of hate are happening in the workplace. Yeah, that's right. The reports are, are clear on this, that not only have incidents of aggression and hate increased over the last year dramatically, but a lot of these incidents are happening in the workplace. I think that puts a special burden on leaders like myself to stand up and speak out and, and other business leaders the same way. If that's if that's where these incidents are occurring, we it's our duty to create safe and inclusive workplaces for our employees. Yeah, and certainly Cummins with a, a very large uh, Asian American, Asian uh, uh, workforce uh, with the company around the globe. Tom, before you leave, I, I do want to ask you about uh, your business outlook for 2021 coming out, hopefully coming out uh, of the pandemic. How, how do you sense uh, the business climate right now? Well, despite all the constraints we've seen from the pandemic that's impacting all of our lives, in fact, the economy is robust. We're seeing very strong orders from our customers. Uh, that really started uh, fourth quarter of last year. We started to see significant increases, and that's continuing now. And our biggest struggle today is keeping up. Uh, our supply chain has been impacted pretty significantly from the pandemic over the last six or nine months. And then I would say our, even our own factories have, have, yeah. have had challenges with absenteeism and other things related to the disease. Now we are, it's getting better. The communities are getting stronger. Our ability to respond is getting better. I feel very optimistic about, uh, about our orders and our, our business for the year. Yeah, very bullish, that's, uh, that's positive news. As we wrap up, Tom, your thought on getting back into the office, back into the manufacturing operations, which certainly have been manufacturing, but how about that uh, back to normal or whatever that normal will be post pandemic? Yeah, our, our manufacturing sites and our technical centers have been working throughout. Uh, we've made a lot of changes and improvements to those places. Those are improvements, many of them, that we'll keep because they're just better for everybody. 
Uh, we are also making changes to the way we do work all across the company. We've learned a lot in the last year where we've been working remotely, ways to do things more effectively, to travel less, to connect better. But we are all looking forward to the day when we can actually come in the office and see each other. Uh, we, we all miss each other, uh, just to be clear about it. And we are hoping that in the fall we'll be able to do that. We're going to start experimenting with vaccinated groups in the summer, bringing some people in. But I think it will probably be the fall before we really get all the way back in the office, and we are excited about it. Always great perspective. Tom Leinbarger, the CEO at uh, Cummins. Tom, thanks very much for joining us. Hope to see you soon. My pleasure, Gary. Take care. All right.